Now this, this is a dev team where when they say these things, it's not just fluff. It's not just to say it just because it sounds good or it's what the fans want to hear. When they say this, you can tell they mean it. Whenever I saw a complaint about Weathering Waves, it was so easy to tell that no matter what, they were going to fix it. I just kept saying, ah, don't worry about it. They'll fix it. They'll fix it. They'll fix it. And here we go. <laughs> so we have a whole 1.1 version in the future of Dispense Direction uh, where they are actually making some big changes to the actual just base game, you know? So I'm not sure if it's going to be... Oh, no, okay, yeah, there's some 1.1 things as well. So not not like immediately, but there will be some things in the current version and in the next version. For example, uh, one very, very consistent concern I've heard was it feels very grindy and you don't have enough materials, which I kind of thought was just like a, you know, first, first week kind of thing with the game. But no, they heard people, they heard the complaints, they're gonna make some changes to that. In the current version, uh, will launch a limited time echo material double yield event core to cleansing so it'll be like a double echo material collection event 1.1 will be adjusting the progression system to reduce the shell credit cost of echo development we'll remove the reward cutscene <laughs> for sasset fields that's nice just because you know it kind of takes long each trying to farm yield echoes and echo development materials will be increased so you'll get more materials to then level those up and upcoming updates will introduce wave plate storage system, which I believe is like the reserved stamina kind of system regarding our handling of rewards system error when recycling develop echoes. So here they're saying that there was an error when people would recycle their echoes, the amount of shell credits they got back was wrong. See, now these little problems I was totally oblivious to because I was just like already kind of lost. <laughs> I was just like learning how the game works, but Long story short, because of this problem, they are going to give players extra compensation and they're going to give them a million credits, a million shell credits. Now that's not wishes or anything. That's just like the, you know, currency to actually get things like in the game, but not like your, you know, asteroid, your, your shell credits. So it'll start on June 10th and it'll go on from there. Uh, once you have your mail available. Additionally, to address this, address this poor experience with Echo System, we will compensate all rovers with crystal solvents. Personally, I don't even know what that is. Okay, no, yeah, okay, yeah, so 60 wave plates. Yes, that's like you can, like, re a refresh, basically. So, you get 20 of them. 20 of them. So you can, like, farm, you can farm a character literally immediately with that on top of what you already have already, right? Then there is the big, pretty big problem. I think it was within, in JP, um, the air with the five star weapon des description. So Verdant Summit in the game, certain languages had a mistranslation. Um, in the meantime, we'll offer one-time composition, or composition, one-time compensation of forging ties times five. Now that, you know, I think that is specifically for the people who had that issue who spent money in the game and tried to like actually get that weapon. So I think only those rovers will get that. Not everybody, I'm not quite sure. It says for on version events, we received extensive feedback on the duration and the rewards of Overdash Club. To address concerns, we are currently in the process of redesigning the rules and reward schemes for the upcoming events to immediate situations as below. So we'll introduce a new limited time mode, uh, Withering Exploration. To offer new rewards and content to improve your gaming experience that'll start on the 13th of june the rewards i believe got increased as well so it was going to be 800 asteroids um a class echo echoes more premium tuners premium sealed tube that's the thing about this game man is like if they keep doing this i mean they can't do anything wrong like if you just keep on shaping your game to benefit the community you really can't go wrong because if you do that for like the weeks and weeks and months and months and years, you really can't do it wrong. To allow everyone early access to experience more content and features of Weathering Waves in version 1.0, we've decided to advance the release of subsequent content in version 1.0, starting on June 6th. This release will include the companion story of a solitary path for Resonator Yinlin. So you know what that means. When Thunder pours for Yinlin and limited time challenge events, uh, Alloy Smelt, <laughs> along with some some more spinoff events and features. So basically, June 6th, 
will have the Yinlin banner. Now that's great news for people who want Yinlin, not the greatest news for people who want Jian. Uh, Wuthering Rays version 1.0 will last until June 28th, which I believe is going to be two days earlier, after which we will receive a uh, server downtime and implement the update for Wuthering Rays version 1.1, Thaw of Eons, which will include a new area, which are these names, and new actual characters as well, uh, Jinshi and Cheng Li, and a new boss. Oh, oh shoot, all right. To compensate for inconvenience caused by this version timing adjustment, we will uh, issue compensation to all rovers. 10 wishes. Thank you for your understanding and support. Detail information as to follow. And that will be on June 3rd. Okay. So keep in mind, all this compensation, they're happening on different days. So don't be alarmed if, like, for some reason you feel like you didn't get your compensation. There are all on different days here. So um, I think that this one is also on June 3rd. You'll see most of them on June 3rd, but some of these other changes will be on different dates. But June 3rd is where you'll mostly see all these pop up. Um, but yeah, just check your mail. You know, currently you'll just you'll just get rewards as you go. We also have uh, combat and control experience optimization. Yes, I have problems with this. The lock on, I was like, bro, like I, it's just like my camera was just moving over here as I'm trying to look at the guy over here. Um, so we heard feedback, feedback about poor experience and auto aiming and auto lock on controls. Uh, based on this issues, we reportedly come up with player discussions and have identified the following issues and adjust them accordingly. That's good news. That's very good news. Uh, we disabled the combat camera correction feature on PC by default. Yep. Okay. That might, that might've been a part of it as well. Bosses existing combat state unexpectedly. <laughs> yeah. They just like kind of pop up in your face and you're like, wait a minute. Huh? Uh, we'll introduce a disengagement warning feature. Okay, so maybe not change like the actual way the enemies work, but just kind of give you a warning, you know? So it'll, it'll still happen when they, they pop up, but it'll be like, hey, you might want to leave because, you know, this boss is, is, is coming back. Ghost touch issues on mobile? Oh, did not know about that one. I tried it on mobile as well, but I did not come across that, feat, that, uh, that bug. Yeah, so... These problems will get fixed. Delayed availability and custom key binding feature. That'll be nice so you don't have to like play the game in the default controls, you can change it around. We have controller optimization. So you can open chat, open map. You'll have a shortcut for that. Controller mode on mobile devices. Ooh, can you like plug in a controller? Yeah, future support for, for controller mode. Um, okay, this is huge. Cause this is one of the biggest things for me personally when playing a game. It's how does it feel to play and specifically impact signification in future versions will constantly improve the event signification and the game feel design for characters and monsters, enhancing all overall combat experience and positive feedback during battles. That's a big thing. And to this day, I still think hero games should have waited for the release. I just think there were so many things that just were not ready yet, but Hey, with all the with every problem that there is we get more compensation so you can't complain you know but yeah that was a huge thing for me it's like when you play in a game and like it's a combat kind of style and you you know you hit an enemy if it just feels like you slap them you know it doesn't really feel like you it wasn't impactful you know when you when you strike it should be like boom you know what i mean you should feel the impact so i hope that this gets gets worked on um, as they say, it will be so, um, no purchase limits for store items. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, you know, how you can usually like, you know, there'll be like three of this or four of that in, in those like little bundle pack things that's going to be unlimited. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Sorry. No purchase limits for stores like flower. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay, no, <laughs> my bad. That's not the thing I was looking about. <laughs> okay, that's different. All right. Audio sounds and bugs, you know, just, you know, consistent issues, crashing, instability, stuff like that. We've definitely had its problems there. It, I had to reinstall the game four times just to get it to work on release. So, you know, I mean, these things happen on, on release. And like I said, the more, about, the more problems, the more compensation. So at the end of the day, you can't really complain. And last but not least, we have the, oh, the, like the SU, like the simulated universe kind of gameplay. 
they'll be including more playable characters, new challenges, new mechanics, and new buffs. Yeah. You really just, you can't complain, man. Like every single complaint that we've had, they're changing, you know? Um, apart from adjustments, we recognize that there's so many issues in the game that affect player experience. We recommend listening to every single piece of, of feedback, continuously organizing and optimizing and resolving the issues in willing ways better. We will share a communication, or we will share and communicate future updates and optimization progress for you actively. Additionally, we will continue to, to gather player feedback through various surveys. Uh, a new version surveys. Since we're based on the official global launch, we have been disheartened by our inability to provide high quality gaming experience for all rovers. We understand that continuously releasing better versions and content is our goal and mission. We'll always strive to uphold them. Finally, we sincerely thank all rovers and your continuous attention and unwavering support for Wuthering Ways. <laughs> Did they do this on purpose? <laughs> unwavering support for Wuthering Ways. Now this, this is a dev team where when they say these things, it's not just fluff. It's not just to say it just because it sounds good or it's what the fans want to hear. When they say this, you can tell they mean it, you know, because all of this, I mean, I needed people to understand this game just came out. It just came out. I mean, it's had its betas and whatnot, but like. It just came out and like, I don't know, maybe this is on purpose and you know, maybe it was like, Hey, let's purposely have all these issues so that we can give compensation. <laughs> I don't know, but overall big W for Kiro games. And this is a dev team that is like, we will cherish for sure. You know, we will cherish for sure. Now I'm kind of breaking my own rule here, but I got to say it just once I have to address the elephant in the room. There will be comparisons, obviously. I mean, it's an open world gotcha game, so it's just natural for innocent comparisons, but but I'm talking about all the stuff that we've been hearing recently. So here's the thing, right? I would really just like if we could give Withering Waves their respect and just give them our thanks. And when they do great things like this, I wish that people would just say, Thank you, Kiro Games. Thank you. I appreciate what you do. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening. We appreciate you. But no, you know what they get? Genshin could never. Genshin killer. Genshin this. Genshin this. Genshin that. Genshin that. It's just like, that's what kind of sucks is imagine being the dev and, and hearing that. There may be some gratification like, hey, you guys are you guys are way better than this other game. You know what I mean? That that may gra have some gratification, but like they don't want to hear another game. You keep mentioning another game. And you see what that does? It gives them free advertisement and it gives them more attention because no one can just accept the great things that Wuthering Waves does. They just as soon as they see it, they go, there, there's some people. Oh, W, you know, oh, that's good. Oh, great. And you know, that's awesome. But then you always have the 6,000 comments of just like Genshin could never or Genshin this, Genshin killer or Genshin devs would never do this. And it's like, no one's even disagreeing with you, to be honest. I, no one's disagreeing with you. I don't think they would ever go this far. This dev team is leagues better than the Genshin dev team. I mean, I don't know what's going on over there, over on the high office. But like, that's what I'm trying to say here is when things like this happen, just thank Kiro Games and be appreciative of what they do and give them their chips, give them their points. You don't need to just have a one-to-one -one for every single time another gotcha game does something. Uh, Project Mookin comes out, they have a live stream. It's just full of Genshin could never. Um, this had its live stream, Genshin could never. All in the comments. Um, you know, let's say Azure Promelia comes out, Genshin could never. You know what I mean? It's just like, that's what just has this big circle that always comes back around the Genshin. And that's why Genshin will never go away because the community is just giving the game free advertisement. It's like word of mouth. Genshin never has to put out another advertisement ever again because every other game just brings them back into conversation, you know? So that's the thing. It just keeps on circling back. So if you want to move on and you want to enjoy something new, 
what you need to do is stop talking about <laughs> the, the other games okay and you know what game i mean you need to stop talking up stop bringing genshin back into the conversation because that is what's always going to keep it going and keep it afloat so that's what i get want to get across because i always see that and I, I think people think that because they're saying something negative about genshin that that's you know giving kiro games the the upper hand but it's actually doing the opposite every time you mention the name the title of that game you're just giving it more attention no matter if it's negative or positive so that's the message i want to get across of just like i understand people's anger and i understand people's comparison and i get it because you know i mean this dev team is just like so much better but give this dev team their respect and give them our thanks you know appreciate the dev team and just say thank you don't go genshin at this genshin that genshin this because it's just kind of it's kind of giving the opposite effect so yeah that's all i really got to say about it but that's my message to you guys when you see stuff like this just thank them just thank them because otherwise you're just giving the Genshin more credit. You're giving them more uh, attention, not credit. You're giving them more attention. So, but my video is not, it's not gonna do anything. <laughs> it's gonna keep happening. And the more it happens, the more Genshin will thrive. So it's just kind of like, you know, I don't know. If people want to move on to something different, what you need to do is stop talking about it. Do you hear anyone talking about Tower Fantasy? Do you hear anyone talking about Aether Gazer or Snowbreak or whatever it's called? Do you hear like anyone talking about those kind of games? No, because no one cares and no one's talking about them. No offense if you like those games. They're doing fine. Like commercially, they're doing they're doing fine. But my point is they don't get talked about because people don't really care about them or conversate about them. People don't talk about them. However, if you're like me, and you enjoy all these different games, you are thriving because you have Genshin to play, you have Hawkeye Star Out to play, you have whatever other gotcha game on this list, you have oh, Wuthering Waves now, and then we got Triple Z coming out. So if you're like me and you enjoy all these titles, we're just having a blast, you know? And we're just having a fun time just playing games, you know? And for crying out loud, I mean, if this doesn't tell you something, I don't know what does. This is someone, this is an employee at Mihayo or someone at Hiover's playing with their ways themselves. You know what I mean? Like even they're playing it themselves, the devs. So it's just like, if this doesn't tell you something, I don't know what does. Like they're having a blast playing the games. They're making jokes and, you know, playing each other's stuff. And we're over here having a civil war, you know? But like I said, only a certain amount of people, like I said, like myself, I'm enjoying all this stuff. It doesn't have to be like this harsh rivalry or this like one to one comparison all the time. Just have fun. You got all these games to play, you know, I think June 4th or June 5th, the Clarin comes out and then, you know, uh, June 6th, we get the Yinlin and Wuthering Waves. So just back to back to back to back, you know, like for you guys who just enjoy all the games, just keep enjoying it and having fun. You know, you don't have to look too far deep into this controversy kind of stuff like that just have a good time you know and that's what i'm trying to do but i just wanted to have this one video about this stuff because it just happens so much you know it basically just lives rent free in people's heads like it's like they could be a thing that has nothing to do with genshin and somebody will mention it you know it's just like it just doesn't escape it never escapes people's brains that's all i gotta say um i'm gonna enjoy these 1.0 updates a lot of them are in 1.1 as well, so be aware. The, the different things will be happening as time goes on. But June 6th, we're getting Inland's Banner. And 1.1, we should see a lot of these things in effect. Uh, there are a handful that they're just going to work on in the future, they said. Like, as, as things go along. But I think if Weathering Waves keeps this kind of feedback up... Or, sorry, if we as the community keep this fan back if we keep this feedback up and Wuthering Waves uh, keep delivering and fixing all these issues and changing the game accordingly to how we want it to be, they can't possibly fail. So that'll be it for me. 
Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you guys in the next one.